I think it would be good even just to have like introduce people from the suburbs to come in here and, and see how people live to show them that it's possible and people actually live like that. I think the time I invested here has helped everybody really, the city as well too. Me being here, I mean all my friends were like me growing up too, you know, the suburbs and stuff, so we were never exposed to this kind of thing. So I brought some of that to downtown, you know what I mean? So I, I've actually been able to influence some of those people. Like definitely, everyone can benefit. You know, art is at least a quarter of why a city is around. New York is huge, Toronto is huge, right? Because they got massive artists coming out of all the cities as well too. And Edmonton can be like that if basically we could work together. We first got studio space here, this was the stuffiest place. Like once it was when the lunatics were left to run the asylum. <laughs> That's when stuff started really moving ahead rather than debating the smaller things about silly things that we were arguing about when we concentrated more on the whole. I don't think we've ever relied on just art to bring people out. We've realized that bands bring people out. Um, just a venue will bring people out. And I don't think we ever just rely on our work. We, we always look to outside sources to bring that together. Kind of, yeah, I think the gallery is something that we feel better like keeping up because it's, it's a constant that we can do where people might not be able to get shows on their own. For people who do show a lot, we also do that, you know? So I think, yeah, I think it's pretty good that way. Now, you know, it's just taking for granted part of the uh, Edmonton Arts community. I'm not sure if it was, it certainly was a presence when I came here five or six years ago, but I think it's more so in any contribution I've made to that is something I'm proud of. It's been you know, like a real peace of mind to be able to know that I had this as a refuge and I could just come and resume my practice almost at, at any, any time. The connection that it's allowed me to keep with the downtown area has given a continuity to my life and my work, which I'm really grateful for, knowing that it's uh, at least, as long as the lease is there, you know, a part of my life and my work I can, I can count on. So in that kind of an investment, it's almost like maintenance investment. I think I've probably got more returns than, than what I've invested in terms, and in terms of, of time, the payback in terms of community and uh, camaraderie, the game has been many times more. It was just uh, a godsend. A huge investment of time and effort into a place, and I think art is always, often, is from a place. People are coming. People are starting to know where it is. It is a, a gallery of a lot of uh, emerging artists that are really decided that they're going to be artists and they're really trying. The biggest part in the beginning is, I think, was getting the right kind of person in here. Now I think most of the people here are really, you know, serious. People that are really working full time pretty well, except for when they have to scrounge for money in the arts. And that's, that's um, a, a unique thing, I think, that Edmonton has in this arts have. I don't think many cities have it. It's still a struggle to keep it going, and I worry it won't be kept going. It's first year or two, everybody was working and not sure how this whole thing was going to work, but the community that's here now have worked really hard. It is an investment in establishing this as a part of the arts in downtown and making the presence in downtown more vital and, and opening up studios to some high school groups that have come here and other people uh, that have come to see what does an artist do, how does an artist work, having open houses. But it's been sort of a goal to make it a voice for an arts community. And I think that's the one that good thing, that it's a place that people can meet, that artists can come and meet and hope, oh, hey, I'll drop by Arts Habitat on Thursday evening. And it's a, it's a little bit different than, than a public gallery or a commercial gallery. Because it is a place of homes and people living and working, it has a, a different atmosphere. It's a different dynamic. I, I know it just seems to be that the conversations can get to sort of more serious conversations. And it's not just an experience of the art, but the experience of the lifestyle. Exactly. And, and, and the common goals. Well, I think it's lived up in some ways to what it should have been. We've got local arts organizations working together, sort of supporting one another. This place is, is proof of that. It's always amazing to me how many people come through here when we open up a gallery show and how many young people there are. We've become a hub that you can pick up a conversation with somebody that you hadn't seen for a year and see, see the evolution of their work. I think it's living up to that potential of what an arts district should do. I mean, I think I've got a, a, a true appreciation of community living here, uh, not just a romantic piece of it. That you have responsibilities to the people around you to make your contributions where you can. I doubt I'll very much I'll ever live in a community like this again. I mean, it's, it's very unlikely. Oftentimes, communities don't function, or these sort of artificial communities, you know, in the sense that there, there's a building here and you try to populate it with people. That's
that doesn't always work. I think here we've had we've had a rare a rare chemistry. Maybe it's the fact that we we all have a say in, in who comes in here. I think that's a key part of it. For me, the word investment speaks to the fact that you've got a community here that's wholeheartedly made an attempt to become a part, a positive part of Edmonton, and to really be a, a, a relevant part of Edmonton. Um, I think that type of investment is 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 invaluable. I think why I have a bittersweet connotation to that word is I don't know if that word is being, if, if investment is being reciprocated by by the city, for example. And in that way, I think it's bittersweet because a lot of people here have poured their hearts and soul into this place and into the work that, that we've done. The evidence is on these walls. I mean, there's not that many places that will have convert their hallways into into gallery space, go through the headache of having a gallery open every week, which it sounds romantic on the surface, but it's a lot of work. Somebody's got to man the shop. I mean, that's pretty, that's a bloody well big investment. Um, the fact that it doesn't seem to be recognized at the moment by the people that might have a say in, in, in sort of ensuring that art has a place in the city, that, that's troubling.